Hello and welcome to an episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason in West Hollywood, California, just right on Santa Monica Boulevard or Route 66. But I am standing in front of a classic um, rock and roll place. It's now a hot dog stand. It is unfortunately closed today, so Mondays and Tuesdays, I am here on a Tuesday and it's closed. But it is open all the other days of the week, just check their hours. The name of the place is called Tail the Pup. And here at this location is where the Doors recorded the L.A. Woman album. There's gold plaques that tell all the history. Here we go. All right, so right around busy Santa Monica Boulevard. That is looking east, by the way. Yeah, it's locked up, so I can't even really look around. But that, of course, is the retro siding. But down here are the plaques. The famous tale of the pup. Hot Dog Stand debuted in Los Angeles in 1946. Originally located at La Cienega and Beverly Boulevard, designed by architect Milton Black in 1939, this original building has been carefully preserved and fully restored to its former glory by the 1933 group in 2022. And then over here, from 1970 to 1971, this building was known as the Doors Workshop. It served as an office and rehearsal studio for the Doors. The band used the space to record their sixth and final studio album, L.A. Woman. Okay, like I said, I can't go in there. And unfortunately, I also can't go into the bathroom where Jim recorded his vocals. I'm not even sure if it was an actually a restroom then. I believe it, that's it over there on top of those stairs. But L.A. Woman was a classic album of theirs. It made Rolling Stone's Top 500 lists. And L.A. Woman, the title track, also Love Her Madly and Riders of the Storm were the most popular cuts off that album. But this building also once housed an antique store and also served as the band's office and like I said on the marker, rehearsal space. It was the last album to feature lead singer Jim Morrison who died three months later. And in 2022, or last year, this famous hot dog stand moved here and incorporated into this new restaurant. So, but be sure to check their hours. You can tell they also sell souvenirs here. But yeah, would have been a cool place to eat lunch and looks like they do have two different levels. But yeah, and I imagine this is where you get your food right here at this window. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that neon, that neon siding or lighting, I'm sorry, is pretty cool. And if you do bring your dog here, they do have free water for your pup far out all right i am jason thanks for tuning into this episode of historically marked i am at just outside tail the pub restaurant but hope you guys get to check this place out experience a little bit of rock and roll history well reading the plaques that is but i am jason sign off <laughs>